it's not just that Delta is warning about revenue growth. It's that this is the third time in the last several months that we've seen them bring down their guidance for unit revenues in the fourth quarter. Remember back on October 11th, they were saying, look, we expect growth of three to 5%. In early December, they said 3.5%. And at that time, the stock sold off on that guidance. Well, today they're saying we expect unit revenue growth of 3%. And the real concern is whether or not the volatility in the market and questions about the economy have people thinking twice about booking a ticket. Is that possibly going to hurt revenue in the first quarter? Jamie Baker with J.P. Morgan out with a note today saying, we believe that both business and higher-end leisure travel tend to decelerate when one screen is awash in red and the financial headlines portend doom and gloom. That was enough for a lot of people to say, hmm, what does the future hold for the airline stocks? You talked about it in the intro there. All of the airline stocks lower today with Delta and American leading the pack with declines of 7 and 8%. Guys, the bottom line is this. Even though the airlines have said, look, we still see strong demand out there, are they seeing pressure both in terms of airfares as well as unit revenues? And will we see that in the fourth quarter and then carry in to the first half of this year? Phil, stick around. We want to bring in Jim Corridor, airline analyst at CFRA Research. Um, Jim, thanks for joining us. We just showed uh, the sell-off across the board in the airline stocks. How would you characterize the sell-off? Yeah, I would characterize it as a total overreaction. I think Delta had a little bit of misfortune here on the day that they announced. Obviously, we have the Apple news, we have the production numbers, and we have yesterday's China slowdown. So I think they're a little bit of a victim of overall market volatility. But certainly, what they said in their release today is not all bad. They're taking guidance up on earnings. Uh, they're, they're taking guidance up on, on cost growth. And uh, yeah, basically, the numbers look pretty good to us. Uh, we think that demand does remain strong, and the airlines do face a significant tailwind next year with you know, jet fuel prices down about 20% this year versus this time last year. So, so there are a lot of positives to take from this note today. So why are all the stocks down so much, as you point out, while, while jet fuel prices are coming down? Yeah, as Phil correctly pointed out, investors are very worried about unit revenues. Uh, Delta did reduce their guidance a couple of times. They may be a victim of their own overly optimistic forecasting. I would like to, love to see them be a little bit more conservative in these numbers in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly 3% growth, 7% top line growth overall, which is above the consensus view. Uh, the, these are not terrible numbers, although they are a little bit less than what the street was expecting.